Hey guys, Loki over here, and today we're doing a review on the Yushin Little Magic 3x3. So, I unboxed this yesterday, I didn't really do a video, because I don't really like doing unboxing videos. I'm just going to do reviews on the keep that I get most of the time. But, the Yushin Little Magic, out of the box, is fairly loose. I tightened it up a little bit already, but it is fairly loose when you get it out of the box. And, obviously, the non-magnetic version is about, like, $4.99, or about $5 on Speed Keep Shop. And, the magnetic version... I believe is around twelve dollars. So um, I've tested out the magnetic version. The magnets aren't like too strong, so it's just has a little more stability. But although the tensions are very loose out of the box, this cube just maintains a really controllable feel, despite being very fast. So it took a while for me to get used to it. But now that I kind of like broken it in, lubed it, and tensioned it, this cube is actually very good. So I'll just let you guys listen to these turning for a minute. See, yeah. the internals have little grooves. You can't really see it because it's black internals. Um, and it did came, I think it came in prelude, but I didn't really feel. And you can see the logo right there. And Yushin also came out with their new flagship 3x3, the Yushin Huang Long 3x3. And they have the magnetic version and the non magnetic. Non magnetic, sorry. Um, yeah, it's cube. I would definitely recommend it for beginner cubers, and older cubers would probably like the feel too. I think it's just a very great cube, and personally, at first, I kind of like the MF3 RS better, but now that I've kind of used it a lot, I think it's very good. And the corner cutting, even though I tightened it a lot, it's still very good. And in reverse, great. And just look at that. And I have seen a lot of people at competition using this as a main. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys some cinematic shots. And by the way, sorry I couldn't be at my normal filming station. Um, actually, <laughs> you're going to see the setup of me here. Look at this. That's where my phone is. <laughs> so yeah, we're at my um, Gammy's Mountain House. Um, so she's moving, she's selling it. So now basically what we're doing... It's just helping her kind of pack up, and I just decided to do this review while we're done here because I brought a few keys with me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hit the cinematic shots and kind of talk to you guys about what's going on. So, just a basic overview of what I talked about in this review. The Yushin Little Magic comes in at $5 or $4.59 about on speedkeepshop.com. And this cube is very speedy out of the box, but after tensioning it and lubing it, lubing it, it becomes pretty nice. Also, another thing I forgot to mention is the shades are not the best. Most of the shades are kind of dark, like the orange is darker, the red is darker, and they're not very bright. That's one thing I would do not like about it, so I might order some stickers for it and change out the stickers. Overall, I really like this cube, and I think it has great potential for beginners and pros alike. Thank you for watching.